Welcome back to another episode on the Maurus Films channel. Today we have an amazing new filter system from HNY and it's called the Revering Swift system. And I have a full set of accessories and filters so we can start this filmmaking journey and check all the specs and features about this new system. We are gonna make an in-depth review and understand if this filter system is made for your production. And we'll be going straight now to the filter base, the HNY Revering Magnetic Swift System. The Revering Magnetic Adapter will ease your way on how you are adapting your ND filters to your lenses. They will adapt to your lens size for maximum capability. I got the 46mm to 60mm and the 67mm to 82 mm variant. So with these two Revo rings adapters, I can basically cover all my lenses to use step-up rings anymore. And this is actually acting just like a variable step-up ring. So the only thing I have to do is to turn it clockwise, holding this front part with one hand and turning it with the other, the back side. And then adapt your lens, it will stitch and you attach it and you're ready to go. And if you want to use it in another lens, well, it's that easy and simple. Unlock it, take your other lens, and you are ready to go. You have the filter system ready to put on this new lens. After mounting your Revering magnetic filter holder, you are ready to mount your dedicated filter of choice. And yes, I got a lot of them. Okay, so I got the magnetic H&Y holder RH100 with two independent slots where you can slide in a specially designed filters. Okay, so you can put in a short star filter drop-in effect and use it with the NDL CPL combined. And on top you can actually magnetically attach an HD MRC magnetic gradient filter if you want to get actually more than one effect. There's also a great blue streak effect and it will be imitating your anamorphic lens. You just have to understand the limitation of this system, but a great way to zoom up your footage. You can drop in a black mist filter so you can get even more fade film effects and get even more enhanced fading cinematic feel and glow. Or actually combine the glow filter with an ND8 CPL. In this amazing package I also got the magnetic matte box that can be also combined with the magnetic VND filter or the magnetic drop in filters with the universal bridge ring. If you want a magnetic hood instead of a matte box, well, yes, they sent me a magnetic filter hood. So you can use it also on your lens. If you require a spare adapter ring to remain on each lens or have lenses smaller or larger, the standard 6782 rings provided with the K series holder will offer individual adapter rings from 49 to 86 millimeters. Let's say that this is a perfect system for stacking up effects and filters on your lens and actually achieving more than you are used to. Okay, so there are some things to note about this system. Some lenses will hold the grip on the revering system more tightly than others and it will be always depending on the state of your lens ring. You can use the variable ND filter with the drop-in filter and with the matte box magnetically attached to a revering on your lens. Mind the weight of this whole system, it could sometimes be a little more on the stress side to a smaller lens body or camera system. I wasn't having any issues with my bigger lenses, but with my small Zeiss 55 or the 35mm, it could get slightly a wobble or actually fell off from the ring. Note, this system is sturdy and made as light as, as possible, but when you stack a lot of filters and actually a matte box, the whole system gets front heavy and well, yes, then your smaller lens with the smaller threaded filter side in front of the lens could take up the punch of the whole system and actually sometimes fell off. And it will always depending on how old your lens and actually the lens ring state 
on your lens body. Actually, this system is on Kickstarter and you can check all the deals on the first link in the description and get this system right now and order your desired filter system. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I will be happy to answer to all of them. And until my next one, thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe with the bearing icon to get notified every time I make new video and see you on my next one.